guys is JP554731 again and I just wanted to show you how to install the HY2M MG um, LED set and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use it first now it comes with um, th three uh, plastic um, inje injection plastic um, Gundam heads and uh, these heads are especially made for the LED unit and uh, you can't use the original your original injection plastic heads with this LED unit and um, the LED unit takes a specific type of uh, coin battery I got this from Fry's.com, Fry's Electronics, and this is a Sony CR1216 watch battery. And um, I don't, there's another name for the battery, but I can't recall it at this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. It comes with the cool thing about this um, HY2M uh, set is that it comes with a circuit that you it's magnetized so that if you put a, a magnet to it it'll turn on and off which is really cool because it saves the battery when you're not using it I'm gonna go ahead and show you on the GM Now what you can do is you can super glue it, super glue the magnet on the back of the neck so that you don't lose it or fumble around with it like I'm doing. So you can see it's pretty bright. Let's go ahead and show you it in um, without light pretty awesome okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for installation and I'll be back in a few seconds okay so you wanna go ahead and get out spruce set A and cut out the two pieces of um, these this black thing which will house the LED you just clip it on like that now you're gonna want to get this metal piece out the, the black runner uh, okay so this is the top part of the LED housing unit and here is this part is the front you can tell by this piece, this plastic piece this part is the back you can tell by this little notch here in the back you're gonna want to take this metal piece like this uh, this portion with this portion sticking up and you want to insert it like so and there's a little piece that you have to bend on the front right here so just take your uh, cutter and gently not a, bend it I suggest using a different tool as you might cut the plastic or the metal. And basically what this does is it holds the metal in place, the metal piece in place. Okay, so now that you've got that done, You 
you're gonna take the, the bottom part and the top part you can tell that this is the front part or the back part by this portion right here and the where the ball joint goes is in the front just take it you just put it on until it clicks there you have that now take this metal part and this is the back right here you insert it into this area right here like that like so okay so now that you have that done what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the chip that um, that turns it's the switch that turns the LED on and off you're going to want to take the middle the middle um, metal thing you want to be careful as these are fra these are kind of um, fragile just carefully bend it towards the back like so and you're going to notice writing on the bottom um, that's how you that's how you're gonna know how to bend the, the piece which is the bottom and it tells you which is the bottom and which is the top okay so now that you have that bent you want to insert the, the chip into this on top of where the metal piece was inserted Okay, so now that you have the, um, the piece bent, you're going to want the writing on this side and insert it like so. insert it until it stops then you want to take the back piece and bend it like so and then cut off the excess okay so now you're gonna want to bend these two pieces back like so and then you're gonna want to put it in this notch right here like I said you want to be extra careful when bending these put this on the opposite side Okay, now you take the LED, okay so remember this is the front part and this is the back part, you can tell by the notch, and you want the shorter antenna um, towards the small notch in the back, and what you're going to do is you're going to bend it again, bend, excuse me, bend the two pieces again, but make sure these two metal rock, or metal wires are in this little notch, and do it one at a time, and then tie it.
around the front notch like so and make sure that you got it tight and then we'll cut the excess Okay, so same thing on the opposite side. You want to make sure this goes into the back notch and then wrap it around and then put it in that notch and bend it this way towards the back and then take the excess. Okay, so now that that's done, we can uh, put the battery in the LED unit. I'm going to have to take it out of the gun cannon. Okay, so the way I take out the battery is I go from the back. I use scissors or something really small. And just poke the battery out and lose it. Okay, so you want to take the positive side of the battery. This is the negative side. The positive goes up towards the LED. Then take the magnet to the chip and hopefully it'll go on. There it goes. And there it goes. And now you've got a working LED unit. It comes with, volume one comes with red for Zaku, the mono eye, and green for Gundam and Gun Cannon. Of course you can play around and use the red for the Gun Cannon or Gundam. And that about does it for the installation for the LED unit of the HY2MMG. I hope you enjoyed it and um, please subscribe for more videos like this and um, happy Gundam building to you all.